This is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. So today we're going to talk about BPDU Guard. So the purpose of BPDU Guard is to eliminate rogue spanning tree devices or spanning tree devices uh, connecting to your network sending BPDUs, which cause network reconvergence and, and um, havoc on the network in general. So STP Guard, uh, BPDU Guard is uh, for edge ports only. Obviously, you're not going to use it on legitimate uplinks that are running spanning tree. Um, so you want to turn that on your edge ports, and it only works on untagged interfaces. So you can turn it on on a tagged interface, but it's going to have no effect. So let's see how we do that. So we'll go into config T. We'll go into the interface you want to turn it on. So in this case, I'm going to turn it on on a range of interfaces. So 1 slash 2 slash 1, 2, 1 slash 2 slash 8 in this particular case. Uh, and the command to turn it on is STP BPDU guard. Simple as that. So if I show STP BPDU guard, it now says that it's enabled on unit one, module two, port one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know it's enabled. Um, so at this point, I'm going to plug in another switch and we should see a violation occur as soon as we get a spanning tree BPDU. There we go. So uh, we received a, uh, a BPDU on port 1 slash 2 slash 1, and it put that port into an error disable state. Um, so we saw that on the, on the console. Uh, you're also going to see that in the syslog. Uh, so there's our, there's our syslog message where it puts it into an error disable state. Um, so at this point, the uh, the only way to bring that port back up is to actually go to the interface and do a disable and enable. Um, now, obviously, you want to clear the issue first. Um, so, you know, in my case, the remote switch is still running spanning tree, so it's going to re-disable itself as soon as I do that. Uh, but we'll just see how we do it. So if I go into interface E1 slash 2 slash 1, so I do, if I try to just do an enable here, it's going to tell me that it's error disabled and I need to do a disable first. Uh, so I do a disable on the interface and then an enable on the interface, and that would normally clear that issue and, and bring the port back into a forwarding state. However, because my remote switch is still running spanning tree, um, then it's going to go back into error disable immediately. But anyway, so that's the gist of that command. Um, pretty straightforward and it should save you a lot of grief in the long run. So thanks for joining.